Because I always begin to think about what if the rapture happened during a very act of sin? What if you were something happens to you and you're living in that sin? People, God is not playing. When God says, be ye holy for I am holy, I want you to multiply that times a million. It's that serious. But the enemy wants to tell you it's not that serious. God will forgive you. Just, just you know, I heard something the other day that was very disturbing. I was on this one channel and this, and this uh, individual said that, you know, um, salvation isn't works based and uh you know, this person said that if you sin 100 times in one day, just keep asking for forgiveness. Now, we got to be careful with that type of preaching because premeditated repentance, trying to comfortably live in sin. OK. And then just ask for forgiveness when you're done, only to go back to it. God will not be pimped and he will not be played. That type of teaching scares me because what it does is it takes away the urgency to stay away from sin. It makes people feel like living righteous and, 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 and trying to be holy is, is, is nothing but filthy rags. And it makes people feel like it's OK. But the Bible states that adulterers and 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 fornicators and many other sins, all sins, people who live in this, they would not enter into the kingdom of God. So with that type of teaching, it 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 makes people feel like they can live in sin and just ask for, for forgiveness, knowing that they're really not even repentant. No, that is not the order of God. That is not people. There must be a desire, a hunger for holiness. Because when you truly are connected to God and you do sin and make a mistake, the conviction, it, it bothers you. It compels you to cry out to God. God will help you how to deny your flesh. Let me tell you this, the sinful pleasures and illusions in this world will lead to destruction of hellfire. What's more important? Pleasing your flesh or being into position with God. That's why I love that scripture to where the Bible talks about if you got to 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 lose your eye, if you got to lose a hand to be into the will of God, then so be it. Cut off whatever you have to cut off. Tell those people who are dragging you into sexual immorality that you can't see them again. Some of you who, who have men and women, you're trying to do right. You're trying to be in position with God, but they keep trying to pressure you and trying to tempt you to, to fall into sexual immorality. Some of you have told that man and you've told that woman you will not commit adultery with them. So they're asking you for pictures of your body part. They're asking for you to have phone sex. Or, you know, they're asking you for something else because they know that you won't go all the way with them. So they want you to, to do these other things, these other secondary sexual things that are still not of God. Some of you have sent people pictures of your body. You've hid your face and you've took pictures of your body and sent it to people. Given the enemy, the legal grounds in your life. Some of you have did video chats with people and done sexual things. God is not pleased. He loves you. He wants you to stop right now. He wants you to stop doing that. Some of you are living in this. And that dream is indication of what sexual immorality will do. Sexual immorality is one of the biggest weapons that the enemy has. Because he knows that feeling of sexual intimacy that is going to lead so many people to hell. And these apps, you must be careful with these social media apps. There are some social media apps I literally don't even, I just uninstalled it. Because it's always like... It's always something just foolish. I know uh, the, the other day I was on um, one app and I was uh, trying to look for grilled steaks and and all this stuff came up. And I'm thinking, why are these people using hashtags 
about food and they're barely wearing any clothing. It was just so disgusting. I just literally got off the app. I'm like, I want to look at food right now or how to prepare the perfect steak. And I'm seeing all of this just stuff that comes up periodically. See, that's the type of behavior that that type of prostitute mentality in men and women that God is not pleased with. And these apps have afforded the evil spirit of lust to uh, advertise itself at more of a high level. People's sexual immorality must be cast out of your life. There are people who have overcame this and it to anyone that is struggling with this, I want you to know that God loves you and he will forgive you right now if you truly want to be free. Walk away from it. Walk away from it. Trash those sexual toys. Anyone that got sexual toys that resembles uh, a male body part, trash it. God can set you free. God can keep you. God can keep you. Even being single, God can keep you. Even being married, God can keep you. Okay? God can keep you. I'm a living witness of that. God can keep you. To, to any man that has uh, sexual toys that resemble a woman's body, put in the trash. God can keep you. He can keep you. He can deliver you. You don't have to masturbate. You don't have to go on porn. Don't let these, 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 don't let these devils and evil spirits drag your soul to a place of torment. Don't let sexual immorality devour you. Those people in that dream died in the act of sin. Their, their soul would not be received into heaven. People, what you see with your natural eye is just the, nat the natural surface. There is a spiritual realm that we all must have to deal with when our time is up on this earth. Okay? Many of you are going to forfeit your eternal peace in God for temporary sexual pleasure. Let me tell you, you this, I am a man. And these are conversations I have with my wife. To all men, I, under, I am a man and I love my wife very much. Okay? And I'm attracted to her emotionally and in every aspect of her, her herself, I'm attracted to her. You can literally be attracted to your wife and that's it. You don't have to be in bondage to, to other women of lust. And women, you can only be, be uh, the only man that you can desire is your husband. You don't have to be a prisoner to other men. You don't have to. Living in sex, sexual immorality does not make a man a man. Because when I was growing up, um, you know, there was always this 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 thing that uh, what what makes a man a cool man is how many women he's had. That is a man of failure. That is failure. That is defeat. A man is not justified by how many women he has. A man is identified and justified by being in the presence of God and being in the will of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We are identified. By that, not by how many women we've been with. And to that prostitution's mentality, some of you are, 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 are you know, selling yourself cheap. You're, you're selling your, yourself, giving your body to these men for money and clothing and shopping sprees. And, and, and the Lord is calling for so many of you to repent and get off these apps. Stop showing your body parts. Be delivered from the, the vanity of sexual immorality that is going to drag many of you to a dark place if you don't repent. And I'm concerned. That dream was concerning. Very concerning. And I realized that this is the type of teaching that many people don't want to hear because it exposes the sinful pleasure in your life of sexual immorality. I know that if my channel only talked about God's grace and, and God's blessings, I, I know I will be further along by now on this channel. This is what I know about the spirit, but because I speak biblical truth, that is going to be a fight and a struggle to get the word of God out. 
to the capacity that I envision for this channel. But I choose the narrow path because I want to be in God's will. I can't tell you things that, that make your flesh feel good because I'm accountable to tell you the truth that living in sexual immorality of any form with an unrepented heart, God will help you. He will help you. He will help you overcome right now. He will help you to overcome right now if you truly want to be delivered. This is the day that you can be delivered from sexual immorality. I don't care if it's same gender. He'll free you. Masturbation, he'll set you free. Sex toys, he'll set you free. Adultery, he'll set you free. Porn. Any type of sexual any type of sexual immorality, he'll set you free right now. I'm a living witness of that, and many others are. He can take the desire from you if you really seek to please the Lord and to do it the Lord's way. So many of you, if you begin to spend time with God and get serious about the things of God, and not, and not just be someone that is religious and living in sin. But if you really get serious about God, he will free you. Now, there are some people, they're not interested in changing. They think it's all good. They think it's okay. They believe it's not that serious. And I pray for those people who've been deceived by the enemy. Those people, there's people who left earth in sin and they went to hell. And I'm sure they wish they could come back and warn everybody that living in sin is not worth it. People, if you haven't listened to hell testimonies, do it. Because there's people who God showed them, people in hell, who was living in sexual immorality. And they all say the same thing. I wish I would have listened. Don't be one of those people. You can be free right now. And I declare... Hallelujah. That each and every person that comes across this content that is struggling with sexual sin, I declare that you will be delivered for real after listening to this content in Jesus name. I declare that every cycle, every generational curse of sexual sin that's that that's been implanted in your life through family sin of curses is now destroyed by the consuming fire of God and cast out away from your life eternally in Jesus name. I declare that you will overcome porn. You will overcome masturbation. You will overcome fornication. You will overcome adultery and sex toys and lust and that prostitution's mentality. You will overcome and be delivered on this day Glory to God. I declare now that every demonic stronghold of lust and sexual immorality has now been destroyed away from your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says that you can do all things through Christ which strengthens you in Jesus' name. I declare that when the temptation and the urge comes up to give in to sexual sin, that you will, will deny your flesh in Jesus' name. I declare to that man or that woman that's in an ungodly relationship of sexual immorality, I declare that 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 connection that binds you to that individual, that it is now destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare now that when the sexual urges come up to give in to uh, sexual websites and sexual music, that the power of God will rise up in you like never before in Jesus' name. And I declare that aggressive conviction, that it shall locate you when you're out of position with God and draw you back into prayer and to repentance and fasting and Bible study in Jesus name. I declare that you will get serious about the things of God in Jesus name. I declare that you will become more sober in the Lord and, and that, that every evil spirit of compromise is destroyed from your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that that every fake church, every lukewarm a channel that you are subscribed to is now being disconnected from your life in Jesus name. I declare that that you would gravitate towards biblical truth of salvation and holiness 
in Jesus' name. I declare that every evil spirit of deception that would have you feel like you was born, born that way, that, that have you feel like you can't overcome sexual sin, I declare that evil spirit has now been cast out of your life by the consuming fire of God in Jesus' name. I declare that this will be the video that God will use that will close all doors of sexual immorality away from your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that all doors of sexual TV and sexual music and sexual books and sexual games have been closed in your life so that you can be free in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Um, my assignment is complete on this morning. Very uh, urgent word from the Lord. And I pray that something was said or mentioned that would make a spiritual impact in your life and that would lead to deliverance and true repentance. Amen. Thank you so much for dropping by the Deliverance and Breakthrough channel. And I will continue to put up spiritual content as the Lord leads. Amen. Share this video with those who are struggling with sexual immorality, those who desire to be free. Amen. And, and and I want you to know that no weapon formed against you or your family shall prosper. Until next time, be blessed and stay safe. Goodbye. Amen.